Hello everybody, uh, this is Leo at the lead time. Um, so recently I ordered uh, 10 different uh, dry flower or herbs. Um, so these are two. Um, it includes the ginger root, the lemongrass, uh, rosemary, uh, chamomile, lemon balm, uh, the lemon peel, um, what else? is um, eucalyptus, uh, witch hazel, and a um, Yeah. So what I'm I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to do the steam distillation uh, by using this uh, dry uh, flower or herbs and see how it works. So today I'm going to start with uh, the chamomile. Uh, so um, this is a, a chamomile flower. Uh, it's uh, almost like a, just the center of the flower. Um, I think because the petal is so small, um, after drying it's, uh, it's uh, become uh, tiny. Um, the, the flower is a, a kind of a yellow or green. Gotta fill up the cup. So with the dry flour, um, obviously um, it's quite a good amount of flour It's being used to uh, fill up this cup. Um, okay, and press a little bit. Um, and then um, I recommend you use a, a piece of a, a cotton cloth. Um, so just uh, uh, cover on the top uh, just we because the flower is so light um, the steam I just the steam may uh, bring it out um, that's why I use a, a cloth and then close it so now steamer is ready watering this uh, kettle and push on this then just connect After about uh, uh, 15 minutes uh, distillation, um, so hopefully you can see uh, in the camera there's a oil uh, on top of the hydrosol. So the hydrosol is a little bit cloudy um, because it's fresh made, and it's interesting. Um, there are some like a blue uh, color dots um, on the surface. Um, that is a, a, a special feature of a chamomile oil um, because those are um, uh, heat sensitive. When it's cooled down, it become a, like a bluish, bluish color, and that is the oil. So after uh, it cooled down, uh, you can see the the blue dots uh, fade off. Um, that's very interesting. This is called a temperature sensitive. Um, sensitivity of the oil the hydrosol uh, with oil with a little bit oil on top um, it's interesting you know when uh, we see the hydrosol or especially the oil when you heat up uh, we do see some like a blue color when it's cooled back cooled down back then it's become clear this is um called a uh, temperature uh, sensitive behavior 
of uh, chamomile uh, oil, essential oil. Um, I use a dry uh, chamomile, um, well that's organic uh, flour. Um, I do the steam distillation, uh, get the uh, uh, hydrosol and a little bit of uh, essential oil. Mm. So after about 20 minutes uh, distillation, I collected uh, around one and a half cup. It's a uh, 12 ounce. Um, it's a good amount. Uh, and of course, you see it's kind of a little bit cloudy. Um, uh, we always say a fresh made hydrosol is um, cloudy um, because it has oil and inside the water. Uh, the other thing I mentioned is the special uh, temp sensitivity of uh, chamomile oil. Uh, when you heat up, it shows some like a blue uh, color and when it's calm, uh, uh, color when it's cooled down and it become clear. Um, so the smell is uh, uh, like a apple uh, smell and the chamomile has been used for a long time as a skincare and also uh, it proof uh, has some uh, um, calm, calming uh, effect, uh, help people uh, to uh, relieve stress and uh, also uh, help uh, uh, sleep. If you like the video, uh, uh, like it and uh, also subscribe uh, our channel. Uh, see you next time.